So now we are on the posterior lateral, lateral chest. First thing that we're going to do is ask the client to continue the sitting with the arms on the side. And then we're going to stand behind the client and untie for the gown to expose for the posterior chest. And then we're going to ask the patient, So ma'am, ngayon po ma'am, mag-inspect po tayo ng posterior chest niyo po. Um, okay na po ba if we untie the pillow the back portion and then expose po yung uh, posterior part of your chest. Tapos ma'am, yung arms niyo po, sa gilid lang po. Now that I have exposed it, we're going to inspect for the scapulae and also the chest wall. So the scapulae should be symmetrical, non protruding, and the shoulders and the scapulae at its equal horizontal position. So the ratio is should be one as to two, and the client if the client does not use accessory uh, muscle, which is the trapezius, and also the shoulder to assist for the breathing. So the diaphragm is the major muscle that will um, work. So we're going to assess it. As you can see, that the scapulae of the patient is horizontal and it is symmetric. And then we're going to now for the ratio. So one is to two. So that is um, the ratio for the um, back portion of our patient's um, back. After that, we're going to note for the accessory of the muscle. Um, when breathing. So, we're going to note it. So, I can see that the diaphragm is working since it is relaxed and it is um, um, the diaphragm is working at the muscle. And then, after that, we're going to palpate for the chest. So, in palpating the chest, the examiner should find um, no palpable um, capitus and also the skin. It should be sub- um, it should be um, subcutaneous tissue and it is free from lesions and also the muscles. So ma'am, ngayon po ma'am, ipapake po natin yung iyong top portion ma'am. Sabi lang po kayo, if masakit siya, if uh, masakit siya, sabihin nyo lang po sa akin na. Okay. Ito po ma'am, masakit po ba ma'am? Hindi. Ito po ma'am? Hindi. Ito po ma'am? Hindi. Ito ma'am? Hindi. Ito po ma'am? Hindi. Ito ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am. Hindi. Ito po ma'am. Hindi. Ito po. Hindi. Ito po ma'am. Hindi. Ito po ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am. Sakit po ba ma'am? Hindi. Ito po ma'am. Hindi. Okay. As we can see that uh, um, there is um, um, no carpetus that we have um, as we palpate there is no carpetus and also it is um, normal since the patient um, um, says that it is just not tender. After that we're going to palpate for frenetus. So we're going to use for the ball of our ulnar edge and then we're going to um, use it for one hand and then when the client say 99 then we're going to um, put it, uh, we're going to um, palpate it down. So, ma'am, pag ma-feel niyo po ito, ma'am, sabi lang po kayo ng 99, ma'am, ha? Ito po, ma'am. 99. Ito po, ma'am. 99. Ito po, ma'am. 99. Ito po, ma'am. 99. 99. Okay. As you can see that the patient have, um, say the word 99, and, um, it is cemetery, and it, I can, um, here for the vibration of the fermitus. So, the fermitus is symmetrical and it is easy to identify for the upper region while in the lower region it decreases. So, as you can see, in the upper region it is um, vibrating um, strongly and if we pop it into the lower region it is um, decreases um, the um, intensity as we move down on the base of the, the lungs of the patient. So after that, we're going to palpate for the chest expansion at the T9 or the T10. So we're going to place our hand because tear chest wall with the thumb. And then we're going to know for the level of the T9 or the T10. And we're going to observe for the movement of the thumb as uh, the client will take a deep breath. And when the client is taking a deep breath, the examiner um, should take for the, um, the examiner's um, hand should be moved 
And um, the normal is to is five centimeter to sit at ten centimeter apart. So we're going to rotate. So one, two. So as you can see, this is our T10. So we're going to um, let the patient inhale and exhale. Sige ma'am, inhale po tayo. Exhale po. Inhale ma'am. Exhale. So, and then we're going to measure it with our ruler. So, we're going to use a um, marking. So, the normal is 5 cm to 10 cm apart. So, as we can see, it is 5.5 cm. So, it is 5.5 cm. And then we're going to move. So, this is the distance between the um, when we are assessing. So, um, when the clients um, have a deep breath, so it's um, the centimeter that is apart is 5.5 centimeters. So, um, it is normal since um, the normal rate is in the 5 to 10 centimeters. So, okay na po ma'am. So, after that, we're going to perhaps for the procedure in your coastal space. So, um, you should hear for the resonance in the percussion and then uh, the tone is elicited over the normal long machine. So, we're going to percuss. So, ma'am, i-percuss ko po yung iyong back portion. Hindi po ito masakit. Pero pag may ma-feel po kayo na masakit, sabihin nyo lang po sa akin, ma'am ha? So, as you can see, ganito po ang pag. Ano, we're going to use our middle um, finger and then we're going to use the um, to um, our thumb to uh, uh, our finger rather to comfort us. Here we're going to put us. So note that it should be at the um, in between the the um, the it should be in the center. Masakit po ba, ma'am? Okay. As we can see, as we percuss, um, I hear some resonance in the area. And um, it is, uh, the tone is, um, the percussion of the tone is elicit over the normal um, lung tissue. So it is normal since we hear for the resonance. After that, we're going to the, um, determine for the diaphragmatic um, excursion. So for the diaphragmatic excursion, for the normal of this, it should be bilateral, both, both in this side and also in this side. So um, it should be normal. So um, the normal is 3 um, to 5 cm in adults. So the level of the diaphragm should be higher on the right because um, of the position on the liver and it will be um, the diaphragm on the higher uh, the, the level of the diaphragm on the higher will be um, high because um, on the right because um, um, the position of the liver then we're going to well um, condition bias with first one can be measured for 7 to 8 meters so we're going to check so ma'am um, um, I need your full cooperation, ma'am. If I said, um, so, dapat ma'am mag-cooperate po kayo sa akin kung anong sasabihin ko para po ma'am ma-assess po natin ito. Okay lang po ba, ma'am? Okay, so we're going to... So, this is the... So, we're going to assess that. So, so ma'am, um, Inhale po na uh, ano, inhale po. Sige ma'am, exhale po. 
Tapos, i-blend mo yung mga kandang. Sige, ma'am, normal dito na po. So, as you can see, dito po tayo na. And then, ma'am, um, inihil po tayo, tapos pakipigyan mo. Hindi po na So we're going to measure it. So the normal height for this is um, between 3 to 5 centimeters. So we're going to. So as we can see, it is in 3 centimeter and it is normal. So, um, it measures for 2 cm and um, it is normal um, when we assess for it. So, after that, we're going to auscultate for the posterior chest. So, in auscultating for the posterior chest, there are three types of normal breathing sound so that, you, um, uh, the, that we may um, auscultate. We should um, auscultate for the bronchial. We also have the um, uh, bronchial uh, vesicular and also for the vesicular. So we're going to scope it. So let's go take na po natin, ma'am. Inhale po, ma'am. Exhale. Inhale po, ma'am. Exhale. Inhale po, ma'am. Exhale. Inhale, ma'am. Exhale. Inhale po na, exhale. Inhale na, exhale. Inhale na, exhale. Inhale na, exhale. I have um, um, here for the normal sound, which is, which is the bronchial, um, the bronchial vesicular, and also the vesicular sound. So after that, we have done and we're going to the um, anterior chest. So the anterior chest, we're going to have the patient. Um, um, tayo so, ma'am, um, I'm going to, um, ma'am, okay na po ba is if i-expose natin yung anterior chest ni po? Dito lang po. So, now we're going to inspect for the chest. So, in inspecting for the chest, so the uh, anterior, uh, uh, the anterior, uh, the uh, anterior um, posterior um, diameter is in less than the transverse of the um, the diameter. So the ratio of the anterior posterior um, um, is one to two. You can see one is to two. Same as in the posterior um, ratio. So, after that, we're going to note for the quality and also the pattern of the respiration of our patient. And we're going to observe, observe for the intercostal space. So, um, it should be relaxed, it should be effortless, and it should be quiet. So, there is a regular rhythm and also the normal depth. So, at a rate of 10 to 20 um, per, per minute. So, um, in a 10 for 20 per minute, um, it is in uh, normal in the average. So, ma'am, so we observe your beauty. 
Bang normal lang na please, ma'am ha? So as I can see that the patient's respiration, um, breathing is, it is relaxed. After class and so it is quiet. So it is normal. After that, we're going to palpate for the anterior chest. In palpating for the exterior chest, where the um, the nurse should find um, no palpable crepitus and the skin should be subcutaneous, um, subcutaneous, and there is no uh, free of lesions and also masses. So we're going to copy. So say na po sa anterior, ma'am, ipapit lang po natin. If meron pong masakit, sabihin niyo lang po sa akin, ma'am. So, eto ma'am, masakit po tayo, ma'am. Hindi. Eto ma'am. Hindi. Eto ma'am. Hindi. Eto ma'am. Hindi. Eto ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am, masakit po tayo, ma'am. Hindi. Dito ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am. Hindi. Eto po ma'am. Hindi. Dito po ma'am. Hindi. Eto po ma'am. Hindi. So as you can see that it is non-tender and so it is not proper. And there is no perpetuous that we have um uh in as we palpate it, there is no perpetuous. After that we're going to palpate for the parameters using our ball of the uric ulnar end and if, and then we're going to have this up uh client say 99 if the patient will feel it. So Ma'am, say na po kanina, pag ganyan po po, sabi niyo na po ng 99 po. Ma'am ha, pag mag-fine na po. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99.
Inhale in. Exhale in. So as you can see, as we have auscultate for the anterior chest, there is no adventitus breath sound and it is normal. So now we are going to assess for the uh, female breast. In, um, assessing for the female breast, we're going to dis demonstrate and teach um, the client how to palpate the axilla. So we're going to palpate for the axilla in the supra, um, supracabicular, infraclavicular, uh, supraclavicular, uh, infra, uh, in the infraclavicular, in the um, central lateral, which is located on, uh, on um, the axilla, and then we're going to palpate for the um, posterior and also the anterior um, nodes. So normally the patient should uh, it is not palpable and if it, it, it is not tender and if the nodes are palpable we're going to note for the size, the shape, the tenderness and also the mobility and the consistency. So ma'am, yes yes po kayo, I, ano po kayo kung paano po tayo magpapay uh, ng ating open. So, turuan po po kayo. So, gagawin niyo po to once in a month. And dapat po may mirror sa harapan niyo po. So, ang gawin po natin, ma'am, is i-public po natin yung ating um, um, supra-clavicular. Sige, dito po, ma'am. Sa itaas po ng clavicular. Sige, ma'am. If may masakit, ma'am, sabihin niyo lang po sa akin. Ma'am, ha? Masakit po ba, ma'am? So, dito sa ilalim naman po, ma'am. Dito, ma'am. Dito, ma'am. So, this is in the infraclavicular. And then, ma'am, sa central lateral naman po, ma'am, maganyan po kayo, ma'am. Sige, ganyan. Tapos, ma'am, dito po ipagkit mo. Masakit po ba, ma'am? And then, for the posterior naman po, dito po sa ilalim. Sige, masakit po ba, ma'am? And po, sa um, um, anterior naman po, dito naman po. Dito po sa dito. Masakit po ba, ma'am? Hindi. Okay. So, yan po yung pag-assess nyo ng inyong um, um, breast. Once, in a, uh, once a month po siya dapat i-assess para mal malaman po if merong tenderness po, if merong lymph nodes po. And if ano kalaki yung lymph nodes and also um, i-record nyo po yung uh, kung gano'n po siya kasakit para malaman niyo po, as please ma-assess niyo po every month. Okay lang po ba, ma'am? So after that, we're going to demonstrate for that and then we're going to teach the client for the best um, self-examination. So using the finger, we're going to move for the secular uh, fashion across the breast using the vertical strip. So for the vertical strip naman po, ma'am, ang gagawin lang po natin, ma'am, ganyan lang po, ma'am. Sige, ma'am, ganyan. Ipapig lang po natin. Tapos ganyan. Balik naman. Hindi, ganyan. Pag ganyan. Tapos ganyan naman. Hanggang sa gilid po. Sa baba ko. Sa itaas. Hindi po nga. Dito ko yung gilid. Tapos gilid. Ganyan po. Yan po yung vertical um, strip po ma'am na method. So ngayon po ma'am, i-truan po rin po kayo ng um, pie method kasi tatlo po yung method na meron tayo in checking for um, our or having um, self-examination. So ngayon po ma'am is the um, pie method ma'am. So ang pie method po, start po kayo dito sa nipple po banda. Sa nipple and then we're going to ganyan. Tapos balik ka sa nipple. Ganyan. Balik naman. Balik Parang asterisk lang po siya. Balik naman. Balik naman. Dito na. Balik naman. Yan. Yan po ang pag-assess for ating um, pie method. And then we have also the um, certain method or the con, um, centric, um, center method. So, um, sa method na po maya, na yan, start po tayo dito. And then, pa-circle lang po. Pa-circle. Hanggang ma-ditch niyo po lahat-lahat ng part ng iyong verse. Okay po, ma'am? Gets niyo na po, ma'am? Okay. So, the breast should be soft and it is not tender. 
So after that, so for the while in the uh, male's breast, we're going to inspect for the um, breast tissues. We're going to note for the size, also the shape, the symmetry, the lash ones, the discharge, the pattern, the dimpling, and also for the reflection. And then we're going to palpate for the breast tissue and for the axillary. So using the finger um, pods. Um, it should be moved in circular fashion across the breast using for the vertical strip, um, pie method, or pie edge. Um, we also have the circle method. So now we are on the heart. First thing that we're going to do is to inspect and palpate for the apical impulse. So the apical pulse is palpated in the mitral area and uh, uh, the size of the nickel is 1 to 2 cm. So, we are going for the um, left ventricular um, um, area or the mitral area. It is located on the, uh, on the fifth um, intercostal space on the clavicular line. So, ma'am, okay lang po if we expose po natin yung harapan nito. Okay, access lang po tayo sa Excuse po, ma'am. So, you need to inspect it. And we're going to palpate them. So the mid clavicular line is located there and it is in the midline. So one, two, three. So we need to palpate it. So, um, it, the amplitude is usually small and it is a gently light cup. So the duration of this is brief and lasting through the first um, two thirds of the systole and often less. So in obese patient, it is not palpable, especially if the patient has a large breast. So after that, um, so after that, we are on the. Um, we are on the. Um, we are going to palpate for the apex and also the sternal border and also the base of the heart. So um, for this, first we are um, on the tricuspid area. It is located in the fourth or fifth intercostal space on the left sternal border. So we're going to expose it again. So one. So we're going to the left. So as we um now that we have done it, it may not be palpable although it is small, it is not sustained and the systolic um impulse may not be palpated. So especially to the um thin patient. So now we are on the um, pulmonic area. So it is located in the um, second intercostal space, which is in the left sternal um, border. So we're going to one and in the middle. So this is where um, we locate it. So after that, we are on the um, aortic um, area. In the aortic area, it is located in the second intercostal space space but it is in the right sternal border so we're going to look at it again one two, but it is in the right. so um as i have copied is it there is a positive um slight of pulsation which is normal and there is no diffusion so the um, palpations not palpable at the uh, at the base of the left and also the um the um, pulmonic area and on the base of the right which is in the aortic area except for the thin um, patients. So we're going to close it again. So after that we are now going to spot for the aorta area, pulmonic area, the air point, um, the tricuspid area and also the apex. So now we are going to start with the aortic area. So it is same um, on 
uh, how we will wait, but first we're going to palpate it and use for the stethoscope to auscultate it. So for the aortic area, it is located in the second intercostal space on the right um, sternal border at the base of the heart. So, it is located on the um, it is located on the right sternal border. So this is I have copied this since I have the data and both the use. And we're going to warm this. So one, two, and so after that we are on the uh, uh, pulmonic area so it is located in the um, second or also the third um, intercostal space in the left sternal border at the base of the heart so one two three then we're going to palpate it into the left sternal so this is in the left as we have palpated it we're going to use a stethoscope to see Okay, so now we are on the um, 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 herbs um, point. So, in the herbs point, it is located in the third or fifth intercostal space at the left sternal border. So, we're going to locate it first in public. One, two, three, four, five. But it is located on the um, left sternal border. So now that I have copied it, I'm going to scope it. Okay. So after that, we are on. After that, we have on the herbs points. We now on the uh, mitral um, area. So. In the mitral, um, it is in the third or fifth intercostal space near the um, left midclavicular line, um, which is the apex of the heart. So we're going to look at it, same as in the herbs point, but it is in the midclavicular line. So, one, two. So we're going to, now that I have done palpating it, we're going to scope it. Okay, so um, after that, we have in the mitral, we are now in the tricuspid area. In the tricuspid area, it is fourth or fifth intercostal space at the um, left lower um, sternal border. So, one, two, so the left lower. Okay. So, um, in this procedure, the rate should be um, 60 to um, 100 beats per minute with a regular rhythm and a regular, um, a, re uh, a, re uh, a regularly, um, a regular rhythm such as the sinus, um, the, uh, um, the, the, arith uh, the arrhythmia. Um, when the heart is the rate increases and also when the inspiration decreases will be expiration. So it may be normal in your young adults. So after that, what we're going to do is that we are going to auscultate for the apex of the heart in the clients and then we're going to have the clients lay on, uh, lays on the left side. So we're going to check if there is a S1 and also the S2 sounds um, are normally present. So, ma'am, can you please lay it on the side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, yes, it's good on the side, ma'am. Dito pa sa left. Okay. 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 Okay.
So we're going to check um, if there is a normal um, S1 or S2. So we're going to check that one. As I have um, auscultated it, balik lang po tayo. So now that I have auscultated it, I can see that this is normal since I have heard the S1 and S2 sounds. So that's all for that second part of the comprehensive physical assessment.